Now, we hear this joked about, especially in marriage, but there is one form of selective listening that is less commonly identified, but I would argue it is very common. This is what we call defensive listening. Dr. Julia Wood describes defensive listening as perceiving personal attacks, criticism, or hostility in communication that is not critical or mean-spirited. We assume that others don't like, trust, or respect us, and so we read these motives into whatever they say, no matter how innocent their communication may be. Yeah, I've done that. This is for all of us petty buddies out there. <laughs> you think someone doesn't like you, and so no matter what they say, that's how you interpret it. That's not a fair way to listen. We're putting words and motives in their mouth that, well, they might not be true. So we need to be able to identify this in ourselves, but I also want you to look for this. Now, I don't want you to look for this so you can like wave the person down and be like, ha, caught you in defensive listening. Don't do that. That's not helpful. I want you to look for this so that you can diffuse a defensive situation. If there is somebody who has experienced deep hurt in a particular issue, so let's think about some of these conversations on racism. If somebody has painful experiences, chances are they might be a little more defensive in their listening. They might be offended by something you said, and you're thinking, that wasn't offensive. Okay, maybe not. But if we want to diffuse this situation, we need to be able to identify that and tell a more gracious story, like we saw last week. I can tell you're being defensive. You're reading into what I'm saying. Maybe it's coming from a place of hurt. That's a great way to listen well.